In this video, I want to share with you four different books that talk about like four different things, but they're all related to like light infantry, maneuver warfare, and stuff like that. And it really does draw a comparison between what we're doing right now and what we could be doing. So let's start out with Strategic Riflemen. This is a good overview of infantry in general, how our infantry are being trained, and how our opponents are training their infantry, and how our historical opponents uh, that were practicing maneuver warfare were being trained, and how they were winning against us. So it's a really good way to look at you know infantry from a 50,000 foot perspective and its capabilities if we were to train, change the way that we're going. So very good read on that, and it's actually the shortest of all these. So Gung Ho, it's a little indirect, but it's actually uh, as far as like light infantry and maneuver warfare, but it's looking at uh, Marine Raiders, and uh, it's looking at, you know, their inception, their training, and uh, what made them stand out in combat, some of the mismanagement and stuff like that where they failed, uh, and uh, kind of looking at how their reputation kind of lived on in the 4th Marines and stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty good read. It still talks about tactics and techniques and stuff like that uh, from a new maneuver warfare perspective and stuff like that. So it's very similar to the rest of these books, and still a good read, but a lot of history, a lot of good references to actual combat and stuff, which the author is uh, experienced in. So, anyways. Super Squad. This is really going to look at the, how the squad is utilized now, how or how it's actually underutilized or just not utilized at all anymore, uh, and how it was utilized in the past, and, and how our enemies utilized it in the past, and how they currently utilize it still uh, in maneuver warfare. Now, most of the reason why the squad's kind of the, the missing component, I guess you could say, is because we're attrition warfare based. We want to like knock everybody out, and we want to wrap everybody in heavy ballistic bubble wrap, and you know, send everybody against a strong point. This is encouraging us actually going back to, uh, you know, our roots in at the end of World War II where people were actually ditching the tactics that unfortunately we're still using today uh, and actually, you know, making it up as they go, so to speak, but actually utilizing the tactics of their enemy for maneuver uh, of small, small units and infiltrating and stuff like that to hit hard and to where you're able to take on opponents that are way bigger than you and by using highly trained and highly experienced units uh, to actually uh, get in behind enemy lines and actually you know take them out using unconventional methods or just maneuver warfare in general so very good book uh, talking about squad tactics and stuff like that now this is going to break down, you know, individual infantry capabilities and skills. How we're currently being trained, how we were trained in the past as attrition warfare based uh, forces, and how our enemies were being trained and why they were able to own us in combat you know, from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, even currently. Um, it's a really, really good book, uh, talking about a lot of history, and it even goes down to showing like training curriculums of our enemies, and you would be pretty surprised um, the capabilities of an individual, you know, uh, who is actually highly trained, and uh, you know, that that's just kind of how it is when people look at like special forces or whatever. They're just amazed at how much training like those people get, and so they really want that. But uh, realistically. Training has been a very big thing for our enemies, and this really uh, shows that. And this is one of the thicker books. Uh, Super Squad and this book are like the thickest of the books. And that's because it's really going into nitty-gritty detail, even talking about different battle drills to be conducted to actually change the way that you're actually fighting from a nutrition warfare uh, force to um, being more maneuver warfare based and going down to how you can train individual infantrymen to actually be light infantry so it's a really good read so anyways let me know what you think of these books in the comments below if you've actually read them and if you're not really much of a reader okay that's on you your life your rules but i find that the best way to actually learn this stuff is not by having somebody tell you what to think but to actually read it yourself and actually come up with your own ideas and stuff like that and conclusions I'm a, I'm a big reader myself, if you couldn't tell, but uh, it's really helped me kind of open my eyes to kind of some of the atrophy that the military's had and some of the lack of training that I even had, and that started when I got out. But um, 
definitely not any deception in these books. It's it's just a really good eye opener for anybody that's interested in it. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And you guys have a good one.